Hello, everyone. Next, this demo will show you how Alibaba Cloud Container Service for Kubernetes scales automatically. This demo requires four main steps: create a Kubernetes cluster, deploy a Kubernetes cluster services, manual scale a Kubernetes cluster service, automatically scale a Kubernetes cluster services. Let's start with a demonstration. First, landing on the Alibaba Cloud platform. Then, find the container service, click it, and enter the configuration interface of the container service. The Alibaba Cloud Container Service supports Kubernetes and Swarm. Here, we create the Kubernetes cluster. Select the cluster in the left menu bar, and then click Create the cluster. In creating the navigation page of the cluster, we need to specify the relevant parameters of the cluster. Cluster names can be filled out according to your naming habits, such as demo. Region: Select where you want to deploy the cluster. Zone: By default, can usually be used to achieve cluster recovery with different zones. If you need to use an existing VPC, click Use Existing and check it. Node type now only Pay as you go is supported. The above is the overall configuration of the cluster. Next, start configuring the parameters of master and worker. Both master and worker are Alibaba Cloud ECS instance. Here, we need to choose specifications. According to their own needs, choose the appropriate type on it. For economy, demo here choose two core, four gigabyte instance. It should be noted that depends on the number of Kubernetes clusters in Alibaba Cloud. The number of masters now only three. The size of the system disk. Is selected by default. The worker node also chooses two cores and four gigabyte instances. We can notice that the minimum number of workers can be zero. At this point, the master node will separate out some of its performance and use it as a worker node. Here we set it to one. The worker node system disk size is default, and no data disk is required. Then set the login password, which supports key pair and password. We set up a password, then enter it here and confirm it. Here we will tell you the version of Docker and the version of Kubernetes. Then config SNAT source network address translation. SNAT must be configured when automatically create a VPC. Then check public SLB to run the cluster API call from the public network. Check SSH to run our remote connection from the public network. Checking the monitoring plugin. Can help us monitor the use of ECS logging service, used to record the operation and the situation of the system. We don't need log service here. Selecting network plugins, Alibaba Cloud Container Service provides two kind of network plugins, Turway and Flannel. Flannel uses a simple and a stable community, Flannel CNI plugin. Turway is a self-developed network plugin for Alibaba Cloud Container Service. It is fully compatible with Flannel in function and supports the allocation of Alibaba Cloud's flexible network card to containers. For users who do not need to use network policy, Flannel can be chosen, and Turway is recommended in other cases. Advanced configuration. You can specify the number of pods, or you can specify the user's own certificate. You don't need to change it here. 
Once the configuration settings are complete, confirm that the current operations are correct, and then click Create. Then you may need to wait 15 to 20 minutes until all cluster resources are created. The cluster nodes and related resources have been created. We can see in the cluster list that the demo we just created is in good condition. Click on the cluster name to see the details. Among them, master node SSH IP address. You can directly log on to the master node through SSH to facilitate daily maintenance on the cluster. Step 2. Deploy an application in the cluster. Click on the left menu bar. As we can see, applications can be created either through images or through templates. Here, we select a template to create a PHP Apache service. The first resource object created is a replica controller. Here, we specify the number of copies to be 1. Then click Publish. We can view the results of the creation. Next, we create another resource object, Service. Specify the service type as Load Balancing. Once created successfully, we can view resources in Dashboard. In the service bar, we click on PHP Apache to see the service external ports. With this address, we can test whether the service was successfully created. Step 3. Manual scale a Kubernetes cluster service. We modify the number of copies through the console. You can see the label bar of RC. Click on the scale of PHP Apache to modify the number of copies, such as 3. We can see that a new copy is being created. This is the manual scale PHP service in Kubernetes. Step 4. Automatically scale a Kubernetes cluster services. Similarly, we need to create a resource object for automatic scaling. The object type is HPA, which means Horizontal Pod Auto Scaler. Automatic scaling is achieved by replica controller. Set the minimum number of copies and the maximum numbers of copies. Set scaling boundaries using CPU usage. For example, when the CPU usage exceeds 50%, the replica controller automatically adds new ports. When the configuration is complete, click Create. In this way, the auto-scaling configuration is completed. Let's test the effect of scaling. We log in to the master node through SSH. Log in to master, and you can see the HPA service just deployed through Get HPA. Through get SVC, we can see the IP address and a port of PHP Apache service. Now, call the PHP Apache service continuously through a loop statement.
Each time an OK is returned, it means that a request is completed. At this point, we log in to master in a new window. Use get HBA and look at HBA again and find that targets quickly exceed 50% so that a new copy will be created. We can also view copies in the console. Now we can see that the number of pods has changed from 1 to 4. At this point, when we look at the target value, we find that it has slowly decreased, which means that the load of each pod has been reduced, thus ensuring the stability and the reliability of the service. Now, let's abort this loop statement which means that we won't continue to access the PHP Apache service. At this point, the target value will soon drop to zero. That will trigger auto-indentation. Let's wait a moment. It can be found that the number of pods has changed back to one. This enables the cluster to scale automatically.